headed out to deal one first thing is to deal with the cable company that whole issue has got to be resolved I don't know how it's going to be resolved but we'll see and then I've got to do a video shoot up at the uh, Leon Levy Preserve and then after that I'm not sure I think I've got to go I got to do something with customs and I got to see some other guy to be fixed today. I paid them, it went through the process, they're gonna make adjustments. Uh, I don't know, they seem to be all there and she said they were having a meeting about you. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, barge is in with more rock. So that's a good sign. That means there's people needing rock to make cement. This business. Today's been very productive. Um, I had to go up to uh, Leon Levy Preserve and do some uh, video shooting up there. Got that done. I think it came out well. A couple little spots there that might be an issue. But uh, I think that'll be fine. Um, cable came. I went to cable. Um, they were all there. Uh, I guess I've been complaining a lot. And so <laughs> after, I <laughs> after I got back, um, there was two cable guys at the house uh, fixing it, making sure it worked well, all that other stuff. And they didn't understand why I needed the internet as much as I was and why I was complaining. So when I explained to them what I'm doing in the videos and the Facebook page and Instagram, and YouTube and all that stuff, they were like, oh, now we get why you need the internet so much. Um, so I talked to them about all that and their suggestion was that I do this for all of the Bahamas. So Ministry of Tourism, if you're listening, be more than happy to talk. <laughs> I've actually thought of it. It's how to get through to the right people uh, because all of the family islands need a better consistent marketing program, in my opinion. Um, something that's you know like more consistent and relevant to this day and age and like these guys said oh the younger people recognize this and i said well you can see i'm not one of the younger people but i recognize what needs to be so uh um the uh powers that be if you're listening let's talk anyway i got all that done and i also whoa look at that the hawks right there on the, uh, in the, uh, on the porch. No, see him right there? He's near the red rope. Yeah. Huh, what's he doing there? Anyway, there's that little hawk that I showed you yesterday. He's on the uh, porch right there. Uh, the other thing I got done today is, remember I showed you about the, uh, the trash problem? Well, I've gotten it okayed with everybody and I'm very happy to report that we're going to be making a much better effort uh, between myself and uh, Thomas and that is going to start being a non-issue in the future. That's going to stay clean, tourists are not going to see a mess and that's what we're after. We want to make sure everything is good, tourists are happy. They will be, I hope. I'm glad I got done everything I needed to this morning because this afternoon it's been rain and thunder. I don't know if that's going to continue. Sid says she saw there was a quasi-stationary front. I'm not sure what a quasi-stationary front is, but <laughs> um, I guess it's going to stick around for the rest of today. So today could be the afternoon and everything could be delegated to video stuff. I've got fashion st show to do. Uh, the video I shot this morning, a couple other things. I'm never at loss for having video to have to produce. So that could be what the rest of today is like because it's not really nice outside. <laughs>
haven't seen this for a while. That's three lionfish down there. They're not super big, but uh, uh, I wish I had something that would sink and then I'd grab them and pull them up. They're really an invasive species. Uh, you see them? Yep, that's a shark. It's not a real big one. Uh, but he's looking for some. Oh, I know what he is. He's smelling those fish that I just caught and let go back. That's what he's looking for. See him right down there? Yes, sirree. He knows they're under there. Look at that. Huh. I guess he can smell it. Or something. You see him? He's like right here. I could reach out and touch this guy. Whoa. I don't know if he found him or what. Well, I caught three uh, smallish grouper, sent them all back in, in the same place, and that's probably why that shark smelled them and was coming to, maybe one of them was more wounded, but they went into the rocks, of course, aptly named rockfish, and uh, he was looking for them, trying to get under those rocks to get them. I don't think he got them now, but that shark was close.